smoothing time series data using the time series 2 program uh, if you don't have a copy of it if you head off to www.charliewatson.com slash classpad that'll um, bring you to this site I've just opened my browser here and on this page and then simply click on programs so we'll tap on that and uh, somewhere on this page let's scroll down a little bit uh, here it is so then you just literally tap onto time series I've got a Chrome browser it's downloaded it here and install it in your classpad how do you install it well at the top here how to download into your classpad so for instance if we tap on the classpad 2 um, you'll see it goes to a page there's a little video here that you can watch video 991 on this help site so that's the basics so uh, let's get rid of that little fella again so here we are we've got our got the program we start off though in statistics so here we are in the statistics app and I've already pre-entered a time series here um, remember if you're going to use some of the options here well, you've got to have complete seasons so we've got sort of three years worth of data here uh, quarterly and here are, are, is our time series so the data is in we tap back onto the menu head across uh, to the program application and here it is time series 2 already installed on this class pad so to um, run the program we tap on the play button at the top and it warns us um, or reminds us we should have put um, the times in list 1 and the data in list 2 so we tap OK to continue and then we get asked how do we want to smooth the data so there's three options using moving averages um, using median smoothing or using seasonal indices to de-seasonalize the data so we're going to choose option three today and say okay and then um, we can when it comes to actually working out the average seasonal index do we want to use means or medians of the uh, yearly indices so I'm going to go with the mean as the most likely one we'll say okay to that how many data points per season well we had quarterly data so we'll enter four here and tap OK so classpad calculates this a uh, few things as the screen before show but basically here it is the blue line here is our original time series data the little red um, uh, squares represent the smooth data using moving um, uh, well in this case using seasonal indexes and the green line is the line of regression now that's shown in the window underneath here so we've got the gradient the y-intercept and the correlation coefficient for that set of data so all good we can write those down and carry on um, whenever a program stops to show you some information a little green play button will appear next to the battery so we tap yes and uh, here are the seasonal indices so it's showing us that um, season one the first quarter of each year is pretty spot on average but the second season about 16 percent above uh, the third is about eight percent above and the fourth season here we can see them uh, very low so this is sort of 25 percent below average at this time of year so we uh, again write down any of the information we need from that screen and continue and at this stage do we want to make a forecast so um, let's assume yes so we'll enter one and say okay and then what forecast value so let's go for 14 we want to extrapolate out a couple of um, uh, quarters so okay and here we go so we can see that um, the x value we substituted was 14 the predicted y value that's using the line of best fit so um, is 492 but we know that for the second quarter of each year it's about 15 percent above average so that's um, these high points up here so we've multiplied the predicted value from the regression line by the seasonal index of 1.158 to end up with a, a likely forecast value of 570 here um, a week if we tap the little green button again we could make another prediction now or a forecast but I'm going to say no and um, show you what the program's done so here we go we say okay uh, at the bottom of the screen the program's finished the list now containing list three here we go the smooth data so um, uh, in column four we've got the annual indices and in column five here in statistics um, are the seasonal index for each year so 
for instance, the um, the one that we used in the program there, 1.1585 was, let me just resize this window a minute, and maybe uh, let's go for a few extra columns there. So um, we've got this 1.16 was the average using means rather than medians. Remember, we selected to use the mean of this value and of this value and of this value. So those three, the second quarter values, for the three years that we've got data, uh, the mean of those was 1.16. So there we go.